today we take a look at the Canon LPE 17. There it is. Nothing really unnatural about this thing. If you already got a Canon camera that uses one of these, and you probably already got one. These do all come with 1,040 milliamp hours. So this is a fairly small battery in comparison to something that you normally get with Canon. So if we look on the back, we can see that Canon hologram. So that's how you can tell that this is a genuine Canon battery. But what's more important is this four contact pattern on the front. And most of the batteries you find that are in LP17 are going to have that. The difference between a Canon and a non-Canon is the way that they've made this work with the new cameras. Now, what's important is if you're doing video work or anything like that, if you're using a non-Canon battery, what you'll find is that it will just shut off and it will not save that video file. And so you can see here what you get. This is the .dat file. And you can see it is zero bytes in size. So you can see what I was doing is unboxing the socket set and was taking them all out of the bags. And then I was ending up with this. So I was going to make a little time lapse, but there is no data here anymore. So this file is completely gone. So they've done something to these batteries to make it so that the camera can actually read using those two metal pins to tell what the battery life is. So as long as it is that Canon battery, the camera will just shut off when the battery gets too low. It will save that file and then you can replace the battery. But if you're using one of these, it will not. So the camera will not read what the actual battery level is. And when it shuts off, you lose that video file. So an easy way to tell is we got this Canon charger. So this is an OEM Canon charger. If we put in our Canon battery, it lights up so we know that this battery is good. If we put in an aftermarket battery, it does not light up because it will not read this battery. And the reason is, you can see in there it has four contacts. And with these aftermarket chargers, they just have two. So this just supplies power to the battery and then it reads the voltage on the battery to tell if it's fully charged or not. So we can use either of these chargers to check any battery and charge them up, but the Canon will only charge Canon batteries. So if we compare that to our old LPE6, so this is the old school style of Canon battery, 1,865 milliamp hours, so this is a larger battery, so this is gonna last longer, but all the Canon cameras that are looking at this are just designed to look at the voltage to tell what the battery level is on it. And I've never had one of these things fail to turn the camera off and write that video file. And with this, they've actually designed it to do a dumb thing if you're not using an official Canon battery, but that's how they're gonna make their money. Now, as far as these other batteries go, they do still work. They do actually run the camera. You can put them in, turn the camera on, and everything does work. The only problem is going to be whenever you're writing that video file and then you just lose it, and then you just scream at the top of your lungs, it doesn't matter. There's nothing you can do to bring that thing back. So if you're using these, you can do like photography or anything that's not really critical, or if you just need a little bit extra power, that still works. But if you're going to be doing video work that you care about with an LPE 17, then you should really get the Canon official batteries.